How's it going guys? It's Jamie here and welcome back to another video on the channel. This is episode 6 of the AC Milan FIFA 21 career mode and it's a live one. But we're going to start with a game against uh, Napoli away from home. But before we um, get into that we're going to have a little uh, look around the table and look around the uh, player stats and how our players are developing. And then we'll jump right into the game. After Napoli, we have got Benevento, and then we'll see how long the video's gone on before after that game, and then we'll decide if we're going to do two games today or three. Right, guys, so we're 16, 15 games in, however you want to read into it, so nearly halfway through the season now. And uh, we're second. Yeah, um, don't ask me how that's happened, but it's happened. Uh, we're four points behind Inter. You have a game in hand on them. Um, obviously, I think what we did lose like really badly to them, so that's the reason we're um, but off them. Juve having a poor season, same in Napoli and Atalanta really, but everyone else you kind of expect to be where they are, I guess. Uh, in the cup we have drawn Udinese, so you know not the easiest uh, round ever, and then that's all for the cup so far apparently. Uh, in terms of player statistics, you could have guessed it, but Rebic is a uh, top. He's top by four points. Uh, four points, four goals. Sorry, out of fifteen games, thirteen goals is ridiculous. Uh, other than him, you got Rafael Leal who's starting to get up there with eight, and you got Ibra with five somehow. Assists, I reckon, is Berardi. Berardi is well, he's joint second with a lot of other people. Uh, Martinez was getting a lot of assists to uh, Lukaku. We got Rebic in there with assists. You got Kessie in there. You got Hakan in there. Ibra's even in there. Ibra's had a very good season, it seems. Ashley Young, Jesus. Clean sheets. We're not, not going to be anywhere near there. We got five. Uh, yellow cards. So we've been pretty good in terms of discipline, as you can see. Don't think we've had a red. No. And then in terms of. Uh, Player development, if you go into the squad hub. So Donovan was going up by two. Uh, his brother should be transfer listed. He will be. Uh, I don't think this guy's even played. Uh, Teo is playing ridiculously well. If you look at his stats, he's got three goals, two assists. Uh, Kier has been very good once I've realised that he's what we need. we got Caldara coming back next season. But I don't know whether to sell him or not. Leave your suggestions down below. Dwart, uh, you should probably go out on loan or get sold. Same with Gavia. Kanata, he's done okay when he's coming, not been uh, amazing. Uh, Kalulu is um, starting to develop, which is nice to see. Delo needs to play more. United have been uh, moaning about that. Calabria as a centre back now is very good. Benasse, done well when called upon. Tanari, I've been a bit underwhelmed by, but he's still developing. Laxal most probably will be sold next season. Krunich is leaving us in January. Kessie, I mean, he's been ridiculous. There's not much else you can say about him. Hakan, you'd have expected a goal, but... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with Hakan. I might sell him. Maldini's going out on loan, I believe. Berardi, well, I'd have wanted more goals, but I'm happy that he's performing, I guess. Castellejo... Has impressed me a lot. Same with Celia Myers. Uh, Jens Peter Hager, or Jorge, whatever he's called, is going to get more game time. Don't worry about that. Uh, Brahim Diaz, I'm not sure if he's a Milan player permanently or not. I mean, we can approach to buy him, so maybe I'd do that. If you want that, leave a comment. Colombo, I'm going to list on the loan list instead of the transfer list in here. Uh, Real and uh, Rebic have been fantastic. In terms of development, the team is developing nicely. Uh, here we go, jump into the Napoli away fixture. And I guess I'll cut back when there's been a situation happening. So now, to Rebic. He's found Leal. I thought he was offside. Rafael Leal. It's 1 0 AC Milan in Naples. And what a result this will be. 
the danger mouse again it's that partnership again it's too good it's actually too overpowered I'm actually going to have to do some sliders well, after this game because it seems a bit too easy uh, yeah if you, if you want to suggest some um, I could use or try out and hit me up I'll leave my Twitter and my Instagram down below in the comments if I remember and um, yeah we can start interacting might make a discord channel if anyone actually wants to join Teo Hernandez Rebic oh it's a great save from who is that keep is it Mary or Spina nope. but it seems like the legendary is either way too easy or too overpowered it's like there's no balance to the game at all and EA needs to fix it badly he's giving away a free kick I don't know why Milik's on it makes no sense is he shooting I mean that was close for Milik fair play for a bitch finds Hakan Finds tail on the wing. He's got so much space here. He's whipping him back. Oh, that's terrible. That's one thing they got. To I feel like they got to fix is the crossing. Sometimes it's either amazing or it just doesn't work. It's just a passing in general, really. I know I should be moaning about the game, but there's a new update kind of ruined it a bit for me. It's a great block by Kessie there. Now can we break? Find Kessie. Kessie drive, Kessie drive, Kessie drive. He's going. Find Leal. Oh, it's a great ball to Rafael Leal. And it's a great finish. He's very overpowered, I must say. And it's a, uh, it's the uh, Danger Mouse again. Come on. I don't know what that's his nickname, but it's kind of just stuck. But Kessie won the ball back. Plays it through. And there's no stopping that. The guy is playing at a higher rate than 75 right now. Oh, Castellejo has got space to roam here. He cuts in. Oh. That was poor. But guys, that's probably going to be the last move of the first half. Unless the referee is going to try and screw me. No, he's not. Thank God for that. So, guys, 2 0 at the break in Naples, and I don't know what to make of this game. I mean, there's been a few chances for each team. Napoli haven't really threatened apart from the free kick from Milik, really. We've had the two goals, which are pretty standard, but Napoli are just wide open at the back. I don't know what's going on. But hopefully, we can punish them some more and turn it into a cricket score. Here on EA TV, Lee and I will be with you for this match. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. Gulam, Fabian. Patience Dangerous again from Napoli. Oh. What is he doing? What's Calabria doing? That's having to clear the ball. The ball. <sighs> we're lucky there. The and was always going to be. Can we hit on the counter though? Rebic, he's somehow at Muscle Cool Valley. He's seen Rafael Leal open. Oh, he's played the ball to Kessie and he's offside. Oh, why have I played it to him? That's so poor. Hauger's in here. Come on, use that speed. Hauger! Oh, what an impact off the bench. 3 0 in Naples. We are embarrassing Napoli. And you love to see it. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key, and he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's you love to see it. Too. Jans Peter Hager so on with the game here, Milan, making an impact in his debut season with AC Milan. So, but yeah, any suggestions are always appreciated, and uh, I'll try and reply. In from if I see a message, uh oh, it's not good. Good, I'm in here. Oh, he's actually saved the shot of his near post. That's the first time ever. Come out for that. Come out for that. Oh, it's poor goalkeeping. 
Oh, it's a great block by Calabria. Calabria's been solid since he's gone to, uh, yeah, we'll bring Sergio Myers on. But he's been solid since he's gone to uh, right centre back. I do have a um, signing in mind that could displace him, but depends on the scout report I get back, I guess. That was good play from Lappy, they decided to turn up and it's 3-1. I don't think we're going to uh, be at risk from conceding two more. But it's not nice to concede that, especially in that uh, way. I don't actually know what happened. When we nearly, it was going to be a penalty either way because we booted um, I don't actually know who that was. Maybe it was Insigne. So it was going to be a penalty or a goal. Could have saved the pen, but you never know. But guys, we're coming to the end of the first game, and we've actually kind of embarrassed Napoli in their home turf. Just get them come to me. By the man, Sayamayas. Just running the game, cut down, and we win 3-1 in Naples. There's my title sorted. But it was a good performance for the team. I'm going to go away. Why is my manager in a kit? I'll never know. I'm going to go away and try and find some sliders that um, make the game a bit more interesting. And I'll see you in the Benevento game. We're going to go at like this. Uh, so, Barani has dropped to the uh, reserves, not playing today. Brahim Diaz is going to come in. Benassi is also coming for Tanari. They're going for Celia Myers. I think that's all I'm going to do. In fact, it is. Hopefully. With these sliders, which I'll show you in a few episodes once I've fully worked them out. Hopefully these sliders will, you know, make the game a bit more interesting. I think he's just turning. Finds Rebic, finds Leal. Leal. Getting marked well here by Benevento so far. Kessie. It's good save from the keeper. Benassa. On the ball, Rafael Leal. Rebic, he finds Leal across the box to Rebic. Oh, it's 1 0. That's a lovely play by AC Milan there. And it's fully deserved. Teo Hernandez first to celebrate with him. Kessie, that was all Kessie. He won the ball back. And that's all she wrote. Keep, oh, keep getting Brahim and Rebic mixed up. It's really annoying me. One nil half time, guys. I mean, it's fully deserved. We haven't played amazingly well, but I think I'll take that considering we're winning. And let's get into the second half and get another goal and a big three points. To the rescue, a good looking move. Leal into Rebic. Nowhere to go, we're being pressed out. Where's Benassi? Rebic. Kessier. There you go, Tohan is in a lot of space. Rebic is running in. Oh, it's a great save from the keeper. It's a great move by Milan. Oh, no. It's a great save from Donnarumma. That was poor for me. A nice kit actually. It's a beat. He should have the beating of him. He's into the box. He's pulled it back. Rebic is there. Dalo has been found. Oh, Diogo Dalo! What a finish from the boy. It was all made by Halga and recovered well by Rebic. And it's a fantastic goal for Milan. It's fully deserved. I think that first shot you saw was the first one they've had all game for Benevento. Kessie finds it, Delo. It's a very deal with Delo strike actually. Through the legs to the defender. Keeper, no chance. Great finish. Oh, Kessie's been found by Leal. Can he hold off the player? Kessie, oh, it's a good save. And we're going to win this game 2-0. That's AC Milan 2, Benevento 0. Right, guys. Turns out, 
the January transfer window is upon us, so there's not going to be another game today. Uh, we're going to have a look for the transfer uh, suggestions I have and what might happen. But first, we're going to do a little bit more admin as things have come up. Uh, Lucas Sanders is now our left midfielder. And I'm going to make him play as A. He's a support midfielder, so there we go. And then we're going to go to our youth team, wherever that is. To the youth academy, because Alexander Dodd, who has 90 potential, quite also converted to a can, is uh, wanting to leave. So we got to promote him to the senior team. Whereas this guy is nowhere near good enough. But now that's been done. Uh, we're going to get on to the transfer suggestions I have, or like options I might go for. So, my centre back options are Diego Carlos to replace Simon Kier. Carlos Cuesta is going to be the man that I want to bring in to play on the right hand side of centre back uh, to like take over from Calabria now and again. I think he, he's versatile, he's good. He's South American, and he's only got a five million pound release clause. So in the next episode, you might see me bring him in. Uh, Justin Martins is an option maybe for next season. Not really looking to improve the right hand side yet. Uh, Nicholas De La Cruz, I will be going for as oh he's that's frustrating. He, he his contract was uh, running out, but it looks like he's uh, signed a new one. But maybe we still will go for him. He's pretty good. He seems. I've never used him before, but he looks fun. Then we got Mario Pasalic from Atalanta. Good backup centre mid. He's solid. And probably my Kessi backup, maybe. Maybe Benassa becomes that and he's my Tanali backup. I don't know. Guzan's the man I'm most probably going to bring in this season if I can. Main reason it weakens. Atalanta, secondly, I need another left mid. Which means I could maybe train Hauger to play up front then. Uh, Cunha, we know about already, I'm still interested in. Anderson Taliska and Oscar. If we, we do get to bring in another cam, then one of these could be the guy. I'm thinking more of Taliska because of the age. But, probably get Oscar for a decent price, 45 million. He's very good, I mean, he can still do a job. Then we got Amadu, who I'm most likely going to remove. In fact, I am going to remove. Because for striking options next season, we have Cunha, Baji, but I don't think he'd be a main target for a starter. And then bringing back Patrick Catroni to the club, who had that great season before... He got sold to Wolves and it just never happened for him. Maybe it'd be a nice story to bring him back to the club where it all began. Maybe even Piontek. I could bring Piontek back. I'm going to add him to the shortlist. In fact, I'm going to do it right now so I don't forget. And then, if any of you do watch this far into the video, uh, leave your suggestions, leave your ideas. I will... Uh, Take a look and I will consult with him. But Piontech is now on the short list. Because I don't think the guy got a fair crack at Milan. Because Ibra came in. So, these are the options. And if you have any midfield options, please let me know. Uh, they'll be much appreciated. But for now guys, I've been Jamie. Thank you for watching and goodbye.